If you raise pastured poultry, you know there are hundreds of feed additives advertised to grow bigger, healthier, and more resilient birds. But did these additives actually work? According to Organic Gut Solution, their poultry formula serves to strengthen birds' immune systems, grow bigger birds with less feed, reduce aggression among flocks, and even create more nutrient-dense manure for faster improvement of soil health. However, at $85 a bag, is this feed additive worth the extra cost and effort? Hey everybody, I'm Sam Noble here at Heifer Ranch with Heifer USA and I am the poultry production specialist. I heard about OGS through Grassroots Farmers Cooperative. They came to Grassroots Farmers to see if we would be interested in trying their product. That's what we're investigating in this video. The Organic Gut Solution website features glowing testimonials for their equine and canine formulas, but we want to know whether their poultry formula produces healthier, heavier, more profitable birds. Join us as we raise a new batch of turkeys on OGS poultry feed and stick around until the end of the video to find out whether this feed additive is really worth it. We will be doing a side-by-side -side trial starting in the brooder. So we will be splitting the brooder in half. We will have a test side and a control side. We have one side that is fed OGS and the other side is not fed OGS. And we have a divider fence down the center of the barn. Basically that will help us keep track of the birds and they won't intermingle at all. So the OGS feed is mixed by hand every day when we feed it out to them. So we take a few buckets of their regular feed out of our grain cart outside, which is about five cups for every 50 pounds of feed. And then we feed it to them just as we would just with OGS mixed. So this side with the OGS, is getting everything the same that the other side is so that we can have an accurate comparison between the two sides. So we have the same number of feed buckets available for them to eat out of, same number of water available for them to drink out of. If we move anything to a new spot on the OGS side, we move it to a new spot on the other side. So everything on the OGS side and the non-OGS side is mirrored so that we can make sure that every bird has had equal opportunity aside from receiving the OGS and not receiving the OGS. Now that we have our trial mapped out, let's look at the criteria we'll be testing. We want to know whether adding OGS poultry formula to our turkey feed results in lower feed consumption over the course of the turkey's time at the ranch. If the turkeys consume less feed, we'll save money on feed costs. Next, according to OGS, the test flock should display less aggression towards caretakers and other birds. Additionally, we want to see whether the test flock has a lower mortality rate and to see whether the test flock yields bigger, more uniformly sized turkeys. There are a few claims we can't test in this video. Though OGS is said to lower water consumption in poultry, we're unable to measure whether the test flock drinks less than their control counterpart since the water lines in our brooder and schooners are automatic. With a longer test period, we could address the claims of better tasting meat and more nutrient dense manure for pasture improvement. But our main focus for this video is feed consumption, behavior, weight gains, and uniformity. So now that the birds are four weeks old, they have been on the OGS for a while. So since they've started on OGS, we've noticed very minimal differences, just a super slight weight difference between the two sides. So the OGS has started out a little behind on weight compared to the side that doesn't get OGS. And now starting this week, they've pulled ahead just slightly. So we'll see if that trend continues. Mortality wise, they have been pretty much neck and neck. Um, we have noticed a little bit of pecking just starting this week on the side that is not fed OGS. After five weeks in the brooder, our turkeys are making the big move out to pasture. With this big transition, we're starting to see some differences between the test flock and the control flock. First, we found that the test flock was significantly calmer and easier to move out to pasture. Our control flock showed some aggression as we loaded them into the trailer. That's one point for OGS. Out on pasture, we've got two schooners for our two flocks. We'll continue to carefully measure feed intake, mortalities, aggression, and weight across both flocks. We're at the start of week nine. So basically we've been monitoring their feed consumption, we've been monitoring their behavior, and we've been monitoring their weight gain every week. As of right now, the test group, the OGS birds, are, have consumed approximately 125 pounds more of feed than the control group 
Another thing to think about when using this product is the amount of time that it takes to mix by hand. Probably adds probably another 20 minutes to our day. Up until probably like week six, the non-OGS group was ahead. And up until two weeks ago, so week seven and week eight, the OGS group, the test group, has been ahead 0.3 pounds. Up until this week with the most recent weights, the non-OGS group is ahead 0.3 pounds. <laughs> so it's been kind of fluctuating a bit. Our turkeys are now 13 weeks old and it's time to send them to processing. We'll send both flocks to the same processor, Natural State Processing in Clinton, Arkansas. But we'll be sure to keep the test flock and the control flock separate. As we prepare to process our birds, we're gathering our final data points and nearing the final results of our trial. We were hoping to see a decrease of any disease or mortality between the two groups. However, we found that the mortality rate of the test flock was almost identical to the mortality rate of the control flock. The consistency in mortality could be attributed to the fact that our poults began their lives in a brand new brooder and thus encountered very low threat of disease. In other brooders, especially ones where diseases may lay dormant, OGS may prove useful in strengthening birds' immune systems. One thing that we did notice is that the OGS group is a little bit more docile towards the caretakers, such as myself or the other volunteers, they were easier to catch if we needed to assess their health or take their weights. They were easier to catch in that instance. But again, we did see birds being still aggressive towards each other. While the decreased aggression is a perk, the most important result of this test is undoubtedly the feed consumption and weight stats of the OGS flock. Presumably, the OGS flock should require less feed and way more than their control counterparts. We were looking to see if there was a decrease in feed consumption. What we actually found was that there was an increase of feed consumption in the OGS birds to the amount of about 500 pounds over their lifespan. Which is unfortunately the opposite of what we hoped. Over the course of the trial, we fed six tons of feed and six bags of OGS to the test flock. At $85 a bag, the total cost of the OGS formula was $510 in addition to our feed cost. Since the test flock consumed so much more feed, we hoped it would yield larger birds and larger profits. Unfortunately, from the carcass weights that we received from the plant, we only saw about a 0.06 pounds difference of carcass weight. The average weight of the control flock was 12.85 pounds per bird. The average weight of the OGS flock, in contrast, was 12.92 pounds per bird. This very slight difference can be considered negligible, especially when considering the massive difference in feed consumption. During our trial, we did not notice a significant difference between the test group and the control group. So for our purposes, we do not have a real reason to continue using this product. But I do know that some farms do use it and have seen good results from it. So if you do use the product and you do see good results from it, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your responses. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to see more of our content, please like and subscribe. Are you looking for new ways to improve your pastured turkey operation? Check out this start to finish guide on raising pastured turkeys or this video where we show off our brand new turkey brooder.